Hi everyone. So a few days ago, I read an online article on Ground Zero, which asked, "What's the largest number you can make with three digits?" With a hint, said is not nine hundred and ninety nine. And it said the、uh, the question was asked by a sixth grade student, and they admit that they weren't able to give the right answer because. They believe most people, including themselves, that the correct answer is nine hundred ninety nine because nine is the largest single digit number, and the largest number they could make using three digits is of course nine nine nine. But then the sixth grade student revealed that the correct answer is nine to the power of nine to the power of nine, and after I read this, I wasn't sure how to react. Because I knew this is not the right answer, so、um, this is not the first time I found、uh, mistakes from an online article. Because, well, first, first of all, I think nine to the power of nine to the power of nine makes a lot of sense because actually it's a very big number, and in fact, I believe this is. Actually, the second largest number you can make with three digits. So, what's the correct answer? Let's find out. So, first of all, the article states that the question never put any limitations to any special symbols or arrangements you can use. So, in this case,、um, I would say we can use any basic mathematical notations.、Um, that means we can use obviously. The number zero to nine, and all the basic notations plus minus multiply divide.、Um, we could also use factorial, and here I even include the Knuth's up arrow notation and the Conway chain arrow notation. So using given this kind of notations,、um, this gives us a lot of freedom. So let's see what we can do. So of course the article states that nine 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 is the our answer most people would say, but of course we know that this is not true. It's not even remotely close to the biggest number you can make. So what about nine to the power of ninety nine? Well, as we all we all see here, nine to the power of ninety nine, which will give us this number nine ten to the power of ninety four. And ninety nine to the power of nine will give us ten to the power of seventeen. So we already know that a small base with a big power will give us a much bigger number than a big base with a small power. And then for nine to the power of nine to the power of nine, which give us an answer way bigger than those two. So this is ten to the power of three hundred sixty nine. Million, this is a huge number.、Um, so, is this the answer?、Um, well, let's find out. And at first, I mean, first, let's obviously we're gonna look at these two first because this, the chain arrow notation, is the most powerful notation among those, and the second most powerful is the up arrow notation. So why don't we just use this too? Let's see if we can do that. So if if we use the chain arrow notation, nine arrow nine, which is just equal to nine to the power of nine, which is a big number, but of course not the biggest one you can make. And if we use the up arrow notation, nine arrow nine, same thing actually. This one means they're the same thing. And since we're only allowed to use three. Digits or three symbols. In this case, we are not even. We don't even have to consider the two most powerful notation here, because using three symbols, you're not gonna make a lot of make a lot of use with these two symbols.、Um, so we can forget about the chain arrow notation and the up arrow notation. So this only、uh, leaves us with the either. Nine to the power of nine to the power of nine, or using factorials. So which one is bigger? 
So let's find out. So for factorial, um, let's look at this two first. So let me ask you, what do you think is bigger? 9 factorial or 9 to the power of 9? So here, as you can see the results, 9 to the power of 9 is way bigger than 9 factorial. So that means 9, I mean, uh, let's say x to the power of x, is it should be bigger than x factorial. So, I mean, in this case, it makes a lot of sense to think this is the biggest number because this is you just stack up the powers and this should give you the biggest number. Um, why should you consider factorial? Well, this is you're not looking at the whole picture. Let's see. So first of all, um, let's look at nine factorial factorial. How big is uh, this number? It's around ten to the um, 185, I mean 1.8 million. So this number is pretty big, but is it bigger than 9 to the 9 to the 9? No, it's not bigger. So 9 factorial factorial is not bigger than 9 to the power of 9 to the power of 9. But however, this is not the only candidate. Now you have this two to consider. So 9 to the power of 9 factorial or 9 to the power of 9 factorial or even 9 factorial to the power of 9. So as you can see here, these three give us three different results. And obviously the largest one is this one, 9 to the power of 9 factorial. So since we know that 9 to the power of 9 is bigger than 9 factorial, so that means clearly this is going to be bigger than this one. And 9 to the power of 9 factorial is going to be smaller because we know that 9 factorial is smaller than 9 to the power of 9. So in this case, this number should be smaller than this one. And as you can see, that is true. And then you will get the smallest number if you do 9 factorial to the power of 9. So again, big base with a small power give you a small number. Um, so it only leaves us with this one, 9 to the power of 9 factorial and 9 to the power of 9 to the power of 9. So which one is bigger? And of course, as you can see, this one has 10 digits. This one has nine digits. I mean, in in this power here. So therefore, this is the biggest number. But wait a minute. Why is that the case? I mean, here we see that nine to nine is bigger than nine factorial. So how come there's a factorial here? So let's look at it. So here's the explanation. So nine to the power of nine to the power of nine versus 9 to the power of 9 factorial. So first, we let 9 to the power of 9 equals x. So this thing here will become um, 9 to the power of x. You just change this 9 to the power of 9 to x. So it will become 9 to the power of x. Remember, for this power tower, we have to do from the right to the left, or top to the bottom. And then for 9 to the 9 factorial, it will become x factorial. So which one is bigger? And as we can see, um, x factorial is actually bigger than 9 to the x when x is bigger than 22. So when x is smaller than 22, 9 to the power of x is bigger than x factorial. But when x is bigger than 22, this one grows faster than this. So in this case, what is x again? x is 9 to the power of 9, which is this number. And this number is clearly bigger than 22. So that means, in this case, 9 to the power, I mean, um, x factorial is bigger than 9 to the power of x. So in this case, 9 to the power of 9 factorial is bigger than 9 to the 9 to the 9. So that's why the correct answer for this question here, what's the largest number you can make with three digits or three symbols, is this. 9 to the power of 9 factorial, not 9 to the 9 to the 9. So it's pretty surprising and a lot of people don't even know that. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.